This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar covering media management, file sizes, and video formats. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I explain why converting video frame rates often causes video playback to stutter. When, why, and how should I convert frame rates? First and most important, the web does not care about frame rates. The web will play whatever you shoot. It'll play 18, 23, 9, 7, 6, 23, 9, 8, 24, 25, 29, 9, 7, 30, 48, 50, 59, 94, 60. You name it, the web plays it. It doesn't care. If you're delivering a project where the frame rate is important, think broadcast, digital cinema, always shoot the frame rate you need to deliver because converting frame rates is non trivial. It's easy to convert frame rates that are half or double, for instance, 29.97 to 59.94, or 60 to 30, or 50 to 25. That's easy, because all we do is we either double the frames or take every other frame away. However, we will always get jitter or skippiness when we're converting frame rates that are not exact multiples. For instance, 24 to 25, or 29.97 to 24. Why? Because converting frame rates requires frames to either be deleted. If we're going from 30 to 24, we delete every fifth frame. Or duplicated. If we're going from 24 to 30, we double the playback of every fourth frame. Think of that strip of film that we talked about at the very beginning. Frames are entities. I mean, there's nothing moving. I can't tell the actors to move faster or slower. I just have a series of still images. If I'm changing the frame rate, the number of still images I can view a second, the only way to do that is to drop a frame or add a frame, which means that stuff is going to start to get jittery. The problem is there's this mistaken belief that 24 frames a second or 2398 is somehow cinematic. It isn't. What makes a film cinematic is the lighting, the color grading, the actor blocking, the motion blur. 24 frames a second has a lot of motion blur. Well, if you want to increase motion blur, shoot at 30 frames a second and slow down the shutter speed. And things will blur more. I can't stress this enough. The magic of cinema is not the frame rate. The magic of cinema are the filters in front of the lens, the lighting on your talent, the way your talent is blocked, the color grading and the looks you provide, the motion blur, not the frame rate. Shoot the frame rate you need to deliver. And for the web, don't worry about it. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 291. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.